And so, gentlemen and ladies, gentlemen and ladies, I'm just cruising through um, the newly constructed internal roads in Obio Adobe Okpa campus of um, Akwai Bum State University. Uh, why I came for some lectures with my students and I'm going through to see this road because it's been months since I since I came here it's been months and due to the long protracted strike I've not had an opportunity to come to this campus uh, but today I just finished a two-hour class, so I've been told about uh, the development of internal roads in Obiokpa. I decided to drive through to see for myself. What I'm seeing is believing. Gentlemen and ladies, can you imagine the entire stretch of Obiokpa community has been transformed? This is no joke. This is real. As it looks. A couple of months ago, some of these roads were completely impassable. Of course, students struggled a whole lot to come for lectures. And even us as lecturers, uh, we have been subjected to untold hardship as a result of uh, the condition of these roads. Sometime in 2016, I was a victim. But I cannot cruise through this road. It's amazing. The entire stretch of Obiokba town weighs a new look entirely as well as uh, I cannot link the campus Aquabum State University Obiokpa campus with the Obiokpa community. Man, I'm so shocked in what I just saw here. Thank you, Governor Odom Emmanuel. People may not understand why I'm thanking you. I'm thanking you because God has used you to turn around the stories of the very many people here in Obiokpa community, Orohan local government. Yes, this is the back gate, the back entrance or the back entrance of Akwaibom State University. I just left one of the newly constructed roads. It's an entire stretch. I actually don't know the number of kilometers, but I must say for a fact, this is commendable. This is massive. This is interesting. I never saw this coming. So what this means for people of the community is the fact that they will even increase their house rent. <laughs> you know, a whole lot of students refused to stay anywhere close to these places because of the fact that it was impossible for them to access the school. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. This is the center of a university that connects the faculty of sciences, the faculty of management sciences, and of course other faculties. That also leads to the commercial farm. The entire stretch. Wow. That's the road that leads to the commercial farm. It's also, it's also been completely turned around. Let me just take a little drive to uh, some other place. That's the Faculty of Science. Faculty, beg your pardon, that's the Faculty of uh, Arts. In 2016, June to be precise, this is the same hill I lost my car engine. <coughs> Trying to rush down to lectures, my, my, my car got stopped. 
and in the process of trying to get it out of the mud, the oil some got destroyed and I lost my engine on my way back to you. But I'm cruising through that same hill, you know, Piyokwa campus of Akwaibom State University, as if I am somewhere in a very fantastic environment. That good feeling, man, this is not politics. This is not Unamuyum. This is reality. Many thanks, Governor Domi Manu. I've not been in this campus for about five months. I never knew this sort of transformation has taken place. Wow. Wow, I'm shocked with this level of development. I, I can only wish the governor can do more for not just for Aquaibom State University, for all the other people, but the generality of Aquaibomites. In all honesty, I am very shocked with what I'm seeing here. That within five months, the entire stretch of the university and other community has completely been transformed. This is where you have the abandoned hostel, on which uh, we're still questioning why that hostel has not been completed. I think the governor has not actually commissioned this road because it would have been in the news if that was done. Oh my goodness. This is the Bosri Department and the Medical Center. Previously, you cannot pass through this place for any reason, any good reason. But you cannot connect to anywhere within close. JP Sigma has also done a great job in this road. Wow. Aquaibon people. You know what I mean? Wow. This is reality. Check this out. Check this out. Thank you so much, Governor Emmanuel. Posterity will surely indicate to you. Yeah, I can see my students are working very happy, in a very happy manner, and they are going about their businesses very normally. This is the mechanic, mechanic workshop, the farm equipment workshop of the university. Previously, to get into this place was a very difficult task. Ladies and gentlemen, I can even see um, over there, if you can see that long stretch, that is uh, the road leading to the Faculty of Agriculture. We understand that JP Sigma, the company that's handling this construction, they have been given the mandate to go ahead and construct that road that leads to the entire Faculty of Agriculture here in this campus. Wow. At this extreme, there is a, a stream. But uh, to make things very easy and possible, this is the commercial farm of Taking Point, and of course, the oil, oil processing facility that was built by, uh, by, by the, by what, that was developed by the university and commissioned by His Excellency some time ago. 
Look at this. This is a Yoruba community. So the work did not just stop in the university. There is a long stretch delving into some community here. And guess what? People will come, come in here and build structures. Of course, change their life, change, have a means of livelihood. Rent out those structures for students. I think this um this may lead to um the road that takes you to Kanafun. But let me confirm as I approach the junction now. Um let me let me just see what this ends. I never believed this could also be fixed. Well, that is um direct the road this road is directly opposite the commercial farm. Commercial farms of a quite percent university and it's been worked so that people can have access to come in and buy the numerous agricultural products uh, produced by Akwaibom State University commercial farms and also see the sort of development that is happening in this university and the entire Opiokpa community. Wow! I need, I need, I need to, I need to, I need to get out of this car so I can show you the massive drainage channels which I've seen here. Ladies and gentlemen, all concerns of drainage and look at this. So that's the road. That is Kanafun. From the junction, you can easily get to Kanafun. Uh, thank you for watching. I need to go, man. There's a lot to do. Thank you so much, Governor Domi Manuel. Boy, you're a good one. I'm 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 a good one